Insert Mega Man theme song here because your geek history lesson on Mega Man is now in session. Hello and welcome to Geek History Lesson. I'm Ashley Victoria Robinson. And I am Jason 8-Bit Inman. Welcome to your Mind University because you have stumbled upon Geek History Lesson, the podcast where we take one character from pop culture, video game culture, or comic book culture and tell you everything you need to know about them in a little bit less than an hour. Sometimes more than an hour. Sometimes you get more than an hour. Sometimes one time we did a 90-minute episode and uh, that is an episode that we never released and we never will, but it was still a good episode. So welcome and thank you for listening to the show. Yes. Ashley, who are we talking about today? We're talking about Mega Man, which is only his North American name. Are we going to learn his other names? Yes. He's a man of many of names. Two names. Of many, many. Three names. M- mega names. Three names. Yes. Mega names. Mega Man. Uh, why are we talking about Mega Man? Uh, because the latest Mega Man video game is out, and uh, we try to be inclusive, and we're trying to talk about more video games. And he's a video game character. And he's oh. cute. Okay. And because I wanted to. Did anybody suggest this lesson at all? No. All right, good call. <laughs> Why don't we move into the Tencent origin And Jason, could you tell the nice people what that is Well, the Tencent origin is the Cliff Notes version of the podcast Where Ashley's going to tell you very quickly everything you need to know about Mega Man In case you go to a sweet cocktail retro arcade bar And while you're putting that Tencent into the machine And you're pressing that start button And you hear Or some song like that And someone's like, hey man, are you playing Mega Man? You're like, yes, and here's everything about them Yes. So Mega Man is the English language North American name for a hero called Rock Man, who's actually a little blue android man originally named Rock. Now, Jason. Is, R-O-C-K? Yeah. Uh, he's a sister named Roll. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know no, that. No, truly. Oh, I love Roll. I love her design. She doesn't get enough credit. She's so freaking cute. Is Mega Man a better name than Rock Man? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> because when you say Rockman, you make me think of Benjamin J. Grimm, the ever-loving thing. The ever-loving Rockman. Uh, he is the star of a video game franchise owned by Capcom. Uh, if you're not familiar, Capcom is known for creating such famous IPs as Street Fighter. Street Fighter! Hadouken! Yeah, Resident Evil, Monster Hunter, and Dead Rising. None of the rest of those have uh, sounds. No? Or iconic sounds. I mean, it's all gunshots. Yeah, there you go. And screams. And they own subsidiaries in North America, Europe, and East Asia. They're a giant corporation. Mega Man was first released on December 17th, 1987 for the, the Nintendo Entertainment System, or NES, as you probably hear it abbreviated to nowadays, and has since expanded to include 50 games over multiple platforms, which is pretty impressive. Now, this does include uh, cameos that he makes in other games or include, uh, when he's included in larger um, combat games like the Super Smash Brothers franchise, which we will get to. And approximately 30 million copies have sold worldwide of, of just every the Mega Man, Man game? Of the the Mega Man franchise oh. games, which is pretty impressive. Uh, the narrative is largely derivative from the first 10 Mega Man games. Um, which is Mega Man 1 through Mega Man 8. Then there's a little game in the middle called Mega Man and Base, and then Mega Man 9 and 10. Now, Capcom is really protective of the Mega Man narrative. They do maintain that it is a continuous plot line. So we're going to talk about those 10 games today because uh, the latest Mega Man game just came out, and we don't want to spoil it yet because we haven't played it. So we're going to talk about basically everything that leads up to that. Is it coming out on every system? I don't know. Okay, good call. <laughs> I cannot tell you because I did no research into it because we're not talking What's about it. What's the new it. one called? I just think it's Mega Man. It's just called Mega, Mega Man? Mega Man 11 or Mega Man 12? I'm, yeah. I'm trying to tell the people. I want to know. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, continue the podcast. Well, uh, the I'm next part go. of the podcast is the meet cute, and uh, I need you to tell us what that is. Meet cute's where we talk about where we met the character. Ashley, go. Um, I have no real idea where I first met this character. Uh, for me, Mega Man is sort of eponymous in popular culture in the way that like the Mario characters are. Um, although my cousin had a pixely Mega Man game that I used to play. I'm pretty sure it's Mega Man 4. Um, but honestly, I don't know. And then when he was introduced in the Super Smash Brothers games, um, I have played him there as well. Um, 
Yeah, so that's where I first met Mega the, Man. The new game is Mega Man 11. There you go. And it is coming out on Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. And it is basically sort of an up version of... It's still a 2D scroller. Yeah. But it sort of has better animation. It looks pretty good. So I, it looks pretty decent. But I'm surprised that they're keeping it a 2D scroller, to be honest with you. Mega Man needs to make the well, jump to 3D. Well, they went away from that in one game, which we will talk about. Ooh. Um, and although it did receive positive reviews, they went back to the side scroller almost immediately. Uh, bad choice. Uh, Jason, where did you first meet Mega Man? I first met Mega Man on these little tiny handhold games. They were made by Tiger. Mm-hmm. There are these little white things with uh, a black and white screen, basically, or a green and black screen. And they only had four buttons. I'm showing a picture. I, this is the game I had, I actually. Exactly Mega Man 2. Is, yeah. And you just had four buttons. It was attack or weapon. And it, like... The plastic actually really hurt after playing a while. And it's also one of those games you could not shut it off because you you were done. Yeah. That yeah, was yeah. it. I had the Sonic version of that, which is fake running. I had a whole bunch of them. I used to love them as a kid because uh, I wasn't allowed to have uh, real video games as a kid. So I had this real game. So that's how I know Mega Man. And to be honest with you, I have played other Mega Man games. I find them to be impossibly hard and not fun. Uh, well, there you go. There's your bias going into the lesson. Why don't we roll right into the History 101? History 101 is Ashley's going to compute the data and tell you everything you need to know about Mega Man. Yes. So uh, Mega Man is set in the year 2000X. In so, the year 2000X. So, Wait, 2010? Well, no, it's it's literally 200X. So it's an ambiguous year uh, in the in, 21st century. In the far future. So where like we no longer, probably? Where we no longer use numbers. Yes. Um, and as mentioned earlier, Mega Man is a teeny tiny little android named Rock. Kind of like Astro Boy. Uh, very much like Astro Boy. Yeah. Uh, with brown hair instead of black. Who was designed to be a lab assistant to a scientist named Dr. Light and his partner, Dr. Wiley. Uh, Dr. Light looks like if Santa Claus and the KFC Colonel had a baby, and Dr. Wiley looks like evil Doc Brown. I was waiting for you to say that he looked like a coyote. Uh, That's not true. Uh, Dr. Light's first name is Thomas, like Thomas Edison, and Dr. Wiley's first name is Albert, like Albert Einstein. Uh, Now, Jason, based on their names, Dr. Light and Dr. Wiley, which one do you think is a bad guy? Uh, well, I'm going to guess that Dr. Wiley works secretly for the Acme company. Uh, that's not a bad guess. Uh, yeah, he's definitely the bad guy. So he's 100% evil. Uh, Mega Man is one of those video games that operates in the uh, black and white version of uh, ethics and morality. Uh, Dr. Light does look at Rock as his son and calls him my boy, even though we know that the robots don't have free will. Uh, however, Dr. Wiley, like I said, is a bad guy who goes on to betray Dr. Light, takes over their lab by reprogramming all of the robots that they had built together. But Rock was so good and so pure that he offers to have himself converted into a fighter so that he can defend Dr. Light from Dr. Wiley's attacks. And when he's upgraded, he ascends to his true heroic form, Rockman. Mega Man. Rockman. I don't. I don't want to call him Rockman. He's Man. called Rockman. I don't care because his name is Rock. This lesson is called Mega Man. It's not called Rock. Well, Man. he's not. Look, he's not called Mega Man yet. Does he carry around a guitar? No, it carries. Then he's him. not called Rockman. He has to defeat six of his fellow robots, including here are the names and the naming conventions for why all is, robots in why this universe. Is, see, I already don't like Rockman because Rockman is racist against his own kind. I don't like this. Well, they're evil though. They're bad. They're programmed to hurt his I master. I don't care. He's That's, protecting his daddy. Listen, dude. Uh, robot proud. Uh, so here are the names of the six robots he has to defeat. Okay, Cut Man, Guts Man, Ice Man, Bomb Man. Fireman and Elec Man. I remember Bomb Man. I think he's in Mega Man 2. Uh, spoiler but, uh, alert. Ice Man is uh, actually an X Men. He character. defeats them all. No, Ice Man actually looks like a teeny tiny cute version of Captain Cold. <laughs> okay. He does. He's got like the little hood and the sunglasses, but I, no nose. How this video game franchise got to 11 games, I will never know. Uh, he then goes on to face down Dr. Wily in his oceanic robot factory, where he defeats the bad guy and Mega Man, then literally returns home to his family, and they all kind of hug him and are like, Yes. When the game was released in North America, there were several changes made to the plot. Oh, good. Including Rock becoming Mega Man instead of Rock Man, because Rock Man is a stupid name. That's right. Uh, Mega Man's a pretty cool name, especially the alliteration. It's a good alliterative name for sure. Uh, Dr. Wily 
has been made Dr. Light's assistant rather than his peer and his partner. Sure. Uh, together, they co-created Mega Man, whereas in the Japanese narrative, he's Dr. Light's uh, robot son. Uh, Mega Man and the other robots uh, were all designed to serve a different purpose for the citizens of Monsteropolis. This place doesn't exist in the Japanese version and is never referenced again. And Dr. Wily uses the robots to help him help him take over the world and build seven empires inside of Monsteropolis. Um, and that's the plot of the original Mega Man game. All right. Doesn't it sound thrilling? Every Mega Man game that follows this has new characters, stories, and locations, but they share a lot of common features. Every game made pre-1997 is a side-scroller. Like Jason said at the top, very yep. popular. Uh, the Mega Buster, which is the cannon that's attached to Mega Man's arm, is the primary weapon that he uses. But he can always pick up and use the weapons of the other bosses or robots that he's defeated. So let's think about this for a second. Mega Man cannibalizes his fallen robot brethren and puts their body well, he, parts on so his own. So he doesn't cannibalize them, but he touches them and then he's able to like recompute his own version of he, he chop, doesn't he, he chops doesn't off their off robot their arm he no. chops off their robot arm and he does gross surgery on himself no. this is mega man is, is is a is a terrible character you're ruining this <laughs> <laughs> uh, this was considered a very unique characteristic when the first game dropped that he was able to pick up and use the weapons of his foes and all their weapons are representative of their names so like yeah. bomb man has bombs cut man has a pair of weird scissors ice man has an ice Oh, I thought Cutman was the guy that shot saw blades out, like circular saw blades. Uh, cut, so Cutman has scissor blades on his head that are open that can cut things, and he can shoot like garden shears mm-hmm. that kind of work like uh, a boomerang, and I'm doing a gesture that no one can see. Yeah. Um, I guess they would look like saw blades when they're spinning. Maybe that's a different dude. Maybe that's Lumberman. Uh, look, we're going to go through all of their names. So I'm sure when he comes up, all his all his robot brethren that yes. he's murdered. Yeah, we're gonna go through all of Mega them. Man is not a hero. I'm just saying, I'm throwing this out there. Uh, but Mega never... Man is cute AF. Of course, he is a hero. Uh, the games always culminate in a big boss battle in a new fortress location. So strap in for a lot of weird castles that cool. are also science labs. Is Princess Peach at any of these? Uh, I wish. No, there's. It's going to take a long time for ladies to show up in this. So get ready for that as well. Uh, Enemies' weapons can also be used to take down other enemies. So, for example, Iceman's ice beam can be used against Fireman to um, freeze the, the fire that's coming out of the top of his head. Stuff like that. And the game engine is designed based on the rules of rock, paper, scissors. That's not a joke. How so? So... Like I mentioned, he can use his enemy's weapons to take down other enemies. So, like, Rock Man can defeat paper. Like, like Rock can defeat oh, paper. And yeah. then if he picks up paper, then paper can defeat scissors. And then scissors can be I defeated do, by rock. I do, so, like, all of their yeah. weapons can nullify the other robot I do masters. remember that because there are certain weapons that don't work on certain robots. And then there are weapons that can kill other robots. Exactly. Um, but it was designed based on rock, paper, scissors. Uh, the player can choose what order they want to defeat their enemies in. They don't have to follow a set game map as long as everyone eventually gets defeated. And this was considered revolutionary when the game came out. It was the first time this happened. The first time in a side scroller, you didn't just have to follow the map. So this was like the closest thing to an open world that you could get at the time in 1987. And now these are all things that are very common. They're very tropey, but I thought it was really cool when I was diving into this, like how revolutionary and how new these things were when Mega Man first came out, because now they're very commonplace. So let's talk about Mega Man 2, a.k.a. Rockman 2, The Mystery of Dr. Wily. Hold the on a second. Hold on a second. The Japanese titles are always better. Ready? Here we go. I'm okay. going to give us the perfect way to get into Mega Man 2. Okay. I'm, I'm, my robot body is ready. <laughs> This is the theme song to Mega Man 2. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna criticize the Mega Man franchise, music not as good as uh Mario. Continue your lesson. Okay. Uh, this is set one year after Mega Man 1, when Dr. Wily has created an army of robot masters. I can dance. No, I'm dancing, nobody can see this. It's true, to take down Mega Man. Jason. Yes. Would you like to guess some of the new robot masters' names? Uh no. Please <laughs> I'm so I'm me so into the song. And guess. Uh <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors, man. No. Uh, their names are. I, I liked it. That was fun. Their names are Metal Man, Air Man, Bubble Man, Quick Man, 
Crash Man, Flash Man, Heat Man, and Wood Man. I remember Bubble Man. Do you really? I do. Tell he, me about Bubble he, Man. He was in the little tiger. He would shoot bubbles at you. And you could get trapped in them. If you got trapped in them, you would float up to the ceiling and you get chopped in half. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Um, fun fact, they also have a group of little robot henchmen that work under them that kind of look like hard hats with eyes. Yeah. Now, no, no, of course, that's how it was in the Tiger handheld game. Version. So everybody playing Nintendo and the real one, like, I'm sorry, I was poor. I didn't have that. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Light tells Mega Man that he has to take down all of these new foes. Uh, so he does. And then, of course, goes on to the big boss battle against Dr. Wily. Dr. Wily tries tries to trick Mega Man into believing that he's actually a space alien, but Mega Man defeats the alien who turns out to be a holographic projection that was controlled by Dr. Wily in a very uh, <laughs> Wizard of Oz, don't look at the man behind the curtain kind of move. Why does he think telling Mega Man that he's an alien would change anything? Um... That's a good question. I don't know. I know you don't know, but I just, I'm just really, I'm just like, just, like, just honestly thinking about that, you know? Yeah. Uh, Dr. Wily begs for mercy. So Mega Man spares him and returns home. Now in the Mega Man universe slash version of Earth that exists, robots are programmed so they can't hurt humans. Oh, they like can Isaac cause, Asimov's robots. Mm-hmm, they can mm. cause destruction to the world around them. They can put them in danger, but they cannot physically harm them. If you don't so know what I'm talking about with Isaac Asimov, uh, the go, go laws of robotics. The laws of robotics, yeah. Yeah, and then go read R.U.R. and be depressed about our robot overlords. Or iRobot. No. Not the terrible movie. Go read the book. Oh. Omega Man? No, iRobot. Whatever. Jason, you know more about video games than I do. Sure. Do they tend Press to be... A. Uh, do they tend to be just like comics and let the bad guys go at the end because everyone involved knows they're going to show up in the next story? No, you usually kill the villain and then for no explanation at all, they show up again in the sequel and they never explain it. You actually usually always kill the villain. Well, like Mario's killed Bowser probably 20 times. Really? Yeah, Bowser. I didn't know that. In every Mario game, do you know what the ending is? You throw Bowser into lava. But somehow Bowser shows up again. How the hell is Bowser? Bowser's a dinosaur. Well, he's a, he's like a turtle. Maybe he goes inside his little shell. That is not impervious to lava. Why then? Then how do you defeat him by throwing him in lava? Then he dies. Well, he goes he pull, goes inside his shell. Also, with all the Floats grievous head wounds that Mario kicks Bowser in the head every yeah, game, yeah. Uh, Bowser's dead. Interesting. Uh, no, they usually die, and then for for no reason they just come they're back. Just back. Yeah. Well, you know what's not going to happen in the Mega Man franchise? What death. But he kills he kills all his robot brothers. He chops he their arms off. Kill them? Yes, he does. He no, takes no, no, the no, guns. no, 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 no. He t- okay. So maybe I didn't explain this. Mega Man literally never kills anyone. When he defeats the robots, he merges with them. He like three D prints himself up one of their weapons real quick. Then all of the injured robots are carted off back to Light Labs and they're reprogrammed to be good again. I'm telling you, I've played a Mega Man game. He brutally chops off their arms. You are such a freaking liar. <laughs> <laughs> and we see robot blood, robo blood. All right, Jason. Yep. We're going to talk about Mega Man 3. Do I, got, some I, got, this. For I me? got this. Here we go. Okay. I'm glad we have all this Foley work today. Here we go. Hold on. This is the theme to Mega Man 3. AKA Rockman 3, the end of Dr. Hold Wily? On. Question mark? Let's listen to this. Hold on. I like this one. A little moody. A little jazzy. Oh, go ahead. Continue. So, Jason. How much time do you think has passed since the last game? 0.01 milliseconds. It's actually about a millennium. Jesus. Uh, no, I'm kidding. It's a decade. So this game begins in the year 20XX in the 21st century. So like now we're in They're the still next using decade. X's. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the narrative tropes I don't love <laughs> about <laughs> Mega Man. <laughs> I, I love that if I'm the MIDI criticize. music from the 90s. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if this might be the 90s. I didn't write down the years. Oh, it's the 90s, uh, baby. Dr. Wily has reformed his wicked, wicked ways and is now working alongside Dr. Light to build a peacekeeping robot named Gamma. The previous robot masters that we defeated in the last two games have been left in charge of some mining world, but they all malfunction at the same time and work together to steal eight power crystals that we needed to power Gamma. Oh, no. Mega Man is uh, given a robot dog companion named Oh, named I remember this Rush. dog. You can fly on him. Yeah. I think I've played this one. Oh, there you go. Or I've played this on Game Boy. Or with someone else. The dog or... is on. Yeah, you can float on him. Well, you're having like a fever dream of the dog Rush. I remember the dog. Yeah, he becomes your platform and you step on him. Sure. 
And together, they're all sent off to rescue the crystals. Uh, the main villain of this game is Breakman. Oh, not David Bowie? Uh, unfortunately. Uh, Breakman kind of looks like a Black Racer X version of Mega Man. I'm coming for you, Mega Man. For uh, all of our Speed Racer fans listening to this. Once Mega Man has defeated everyone and retrieved the and crystal. chopped off all their arms. Uh, Dr. Wily reveals that he's, uh, surprise, been evil all along and built Gamma to help him take over the world. So Mega Man now has to defeat Gamma and Dr. Wily. Come on up here, Mega Man. I've come to defeat you. Just this like sad, mm-hmm. crying little boy. I see all that robo blood on your body, Mega Man. Uh, robots don't really bleed in this mm-hmm. universe. Oh, the lubricants they do. No. While the fortress is falling down around him, Breakman shows up and saves Mega Man. But uh, Dr. Wily is Breakman. seemingly crushed underneath it. Dr. Wily is seemingly crushed under a number of bricks many times. When Tetris Me- bricks? Yeah, I'm going to say yes. Cool. Yes, the multicolored Tetris bricks. When Mega Man wakes up, Dr. Light seems to think that Mega Man was saved by Proto Man, who's Mega Man's oldest brother. Mega Man has a lot of siblings. Uh... And that's the end of the game. What happened to Gamma? Gamma was defeated by Mega Man. No, he was no. Secretly, secretly defeated evil. by Mega Man. And probably crushed under the Tetris bricks because he literally never comes back. Uh, oh, Most Mega of them, Man, what was that sound? <laughs> that was my back being broken by bricks. Okay. Uh, we're going to talk about Mega Man 4. Here we go. Should we pause for the sound design? Here we are. Here's the theme song to Mega Man 4. A.K.A. Rockman 4, New Ambition, with two exclamation points. There it is, everybody. All right, continue. Okay. Tell us about Mega Man 4. So, this is but one year after Mega Man 3. A crazy Russian scientist dude named Dr. Cossack unleashes... Oh my god, that's pretty bad. ...unleashes a bunch of robots with the intention of taking over the world. The eight robots take over eight cities all over the world, and Mega Man is sent to liberate them. Jason, what do we think some of their names are? Uh, Bread Man. (laughs) Uh, Food Shortage Man. (laughs) Uh, Stocking Hat Man. (laughs) Burned Earth Man. Lenin man, <laughs> communist man, and Kremlin man. You're so close. It's actually Toad man, Bright man. Yeah, nailed it. Pharaoh man. Pharaoh man? Yep. What does he throw? Snakes? Yes. <laughs> I was totally guessing. From the little thing on his head. Uh, ring man, I, dust man. I know ring man. Skull man, dive man, and drill man. I know drill man as well. Uh, does he have a giant construction drill? Uh, I think one of his his hands is, is like, like, a is like a, no, is like an actual drill, and he shoots that at you. Oh, that's cool. Uh, yeah. Fun fact: this is the first time Mega Man gets an upgraded new Mega Blaster, uh, which is pretty cool. Once Mega Man defeats all of them, he takes on Doctor Cossack in a big for, uh, fortress. Come over here, you 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 He's capitalist like, pig <laughs> robot. Come to me, tiny robot. You, I will defeat you. You capitalist pig. Pretty sure I nailed that accent. Yes. Uh, takes on Dr. Cossack in a, this uh, big fortress, but halfway through their altercation, his older brother, Proto Man, who we talked about, uh, conveniently teleports in, holding Dr. Cossack's daughter, Kalinka, hostage. She claims that Dr. Wily is alive and wasn't crushed under the fortress at the end of the last game and has forced her father's hand and that Mega Man needs to stop fighting her daddy and save them both. Um... And Mega Man believes her because all of the ladies in the Mega Man franchise are damsels who must be believed. Robot damsels. Damsels. No, she's not a robot. She's a human. Oh. Kalinka's a human. She'll be a robot after Mega Man chops off her arm. Uh, Mega Man's sister, who I don't think is introduced for a couple games yet, uh, is the only robot girl. Where's the robo dog? For most... Rush? Who knows? He's probably sitting in light labs. He's probably got tired of being stepped on. Yeah. Well, I mean, what what a robot dog do in their free time? Chase robot... Robo balls? They chase electric sheep. Duh. Uh, two out of five. <laughs> that was an okay joke. <laughs> Is he a robot sheep I'm bringing, dog? A, I'm bringing a lot of sci-fi he's references like, in this one. Yeah, he's like ambiguously a dog. He's not, of no clear breed to no me. No gamma in this game? No, ga- no gamma ever again. I'm, damn it, I'm disappointed. I liked gamma. Did you? I did. He had so, style. 
I don't think that's true. He did have style. Uh, he was green, and that's definitely saying something. Dr. Wiley, of course, immediately appears from where he's been lurking in the shadows all along. Just watching. Truly, not a joke. That's what happens. Uh, Mega Man escapes, rides home on the top of a train, and is picked up by Roll, who's uh, Dr. Light's cute humanoid housekeeper and also Mega Man's sister, and also I love her. Uh, and Rush the doggo. So Rush has been waiting at home for Mega Thank Man. God. This entire time. Yep. One, one, zero, zero. Yep. That's what he sounds like. I bet someone actually knows how to say yip and binary, and they'll tell us when they leave us a five-star review on iTunes. <laughs> Whoa, okay. <laughs> they have to do it there? All right. Yeah, that's uh, the only place I want to know how to say yip in binary. Holy cow, all right. Now, Jason, uh, you said that you knew who Proto Man was, right? His older brother? No, I don't. Oh, I thought you did. No, I don't know who Proto Man is. How do you feel about the idea of a Proto Man character existing then? Do we need like a B4 in the Mega Man universe? Do we need to see Proto Mega Man, really? Is he younger? No, he's older. He's oh, proto man. so he's not as good as Mega Man. No, but he kind of shows. Is he tinier? What does he look like? I don't even know what he looks like. Um, he kind of looks like a gray version of Mega Man. Okay. Um, and he shows so, up. So the doctor every couldn't even bother to color him. Couldn't paint him. Uh, every time Mega Man needs saving, Proto Man because he has basically. Oh, so he's a Deus Ex Machina. Yeah, will show up and kind of like help him out. I don't like it. I, to be honest with you, I don't like the idea that all these robots are Mega Man's brothers because again, he savagely murders them and cuts off their arms. What do you think? Do you like Break Man though? You said that you remembered him. I don't remember Breakman. Oh, when we talked about Breakman, you were like, I remember Breakman. No, he looks I don't like Racer that. X. Uh, I don't know if I said that. All right. Yeah, well, I said that. And you said, sure. I remember Breakman. No, I don't know. They're all, they all, they're all the same damn robot. So many minutes ago. There's so many damn, they're all the same robots. No, the one I remember is Gamma. You remember I, Gamma? I, I, I like it. You don't uh, remember I just like that Gamma is a David Bowie joke. I like that. And I want to I was surprised you went David Bowie and not a Hulk joke right there. No. Um, no, I don't like this idea that he has brothers and sisters and infantile brothers and sisters it doesn't i don't like it oh boy well we have so many more of them to i go figured through. let's go well jason let's talk about mega man four sure no uh, five, five. yeah i was like we already talked about four sorry uh prepare your ear holes for mega man five i'm ready I like this workout music i think they're like lackluster theme songs really aka rock man five they're not the same blues trap with an exclamation point blues and clues from the question mark so blue is um Blue is the nickname that Dr. Light has for Proto Man, even though he's not blue. So a mere two months after uh, the events of Mega Man 4. Not X months? No. They don't have numbers in the future, so that's why I ask. No. Three months. Okay. X months. Uh, Proto Man is a bad guy now. And Screw he's that guy. And he's leading an army of evil robots intent on taking over the world. <sighs> so he became lore. <laughs> from TNG. Yeah, kind of. All right. Oh, I hate lore. He kidnaps Dr. Light so that Mega Man will find himself at a disadvantage because every time Mega Man goes into the field, he's led through Dr. Light's instructions on an earpiece, um, except in the video game, it's mostly text that you read on the screen because there's mm-hmm. no voice acting in it. Oh, no. Well, it was too big for the uh, computer. You couldn't, you, you you couldn't, couldn't put voice yeah. information on those cartridges. Yeah, it's a really big deal, actually, when we get some VO a uh, couple games yep. from it now. Uh, Mega Man is so sad because he has to fight Proto Man, his older brother. But Dr. Cossack, who's a good guy Russian scientist dude now from the last game, uh, gives him a robot bird named Beat, uh, who kind of looks like a Pokemon. So he's doing all right after all. all. I don't remember that guy at all. Uh, He only exists for this video game. Cool. Uh, He fights a bunch of new robot masters. Jason, what do we think their names are? Uh, Cloud Man. We had a Cloud Man? Uh, Rain Boy. No, it's always man. Uh, man, man, <laughs> hammer man, uh, uh, screw man, cheese man. I think screw man is a real one. Milk man <laughs> and uh, ice cream man. Okay, so their real names are in fact Star Man, Star Man. <laughs> yeah. All right. Gravity man. I don't like them. As- Gyro man. <laughs> It's called Hero. <laughs> no, no, like a gyro. <laughs> no, it's called Hero. <laughs> uh, Stone Man. Okay. Crystal Man. <laughs> Crystal Meth Man. He does I know that? Charge Man. Charge Man. Napalm Man. Napalm Man. <laughs> yeah. Even by this time, Napalm is outdated. Uh, and Wave Man. Like how he shows ocean waves. Yeah, oh, I think it's Sonic Waves. Uh, the Robo Bros have a big showdown at the end of the game. There's a star man <laughs> waiting Fighting in Mega the sky. <laughs> he's going to punch Mega Man in the face and he's going to punch him in the eye. Oh, he's got such cute little eyes. And then his brother will chop off his damn arm. His Robo blood going everywhere. 
And because Mega Man likes to steal arms, that's all I got. I don't got anything. Just go on. So they have this big fight, right? And at the end of the game, it looks like Mega Man is finally going to die and be defeated by these Good. robo monsters. Uh, when a second Proto Man arrives and he, uh. he teleports in and reveals that he's the real Proto Man. And the villain of this game has been another robot and disguises him all along and is, in fact, the villain known as Dark Man. Wait, Liam Neeson? I don't know what that means. There was a Sam Raimi movie from the early 90s called Dark Man, and it stars Liam Neeson. I'm going to say yes. Okay, I like and, this. And uh, he has a very particular set I of skills. I have a particular set of skills. Uh, and one of these skills... Is freeing the Jews. Is is freeing the Jews, Those, but also... And also, I'm a lion. That's also, all the Liam Neeson movies I've ever seen. It's punching my little robot brother in the face. Oh, yeah, and he was a Jedi. <sighs> yes. Yes. Uh, Mega Man beats Dr. Wily, rescues Dr. Light, all with the help of his older brother, Proto Man. So, Jason, we are halfway through. Does Dark Man die? He doesn't. No one dies. Oh, that's right. He gets defeated he and reprogrammed away. to be a good guy. Yes, I ran away and went to a train and found a bomb. Yeah. And then I fought and some moves. And, my, and da- fought, my daughter was Shannon. And then I lost. fought some moves. Oh, I didn't thought. I thought gray. you said a bad word. Yes. <laughs> instead of fought. <laughs> uh, so, we're halfway through the original narrative. We're five games in. Original? That's. I think that's a little yeah. much. What do we think of uh, what do you think about Mega Man's character arc so far? And do we have any predictions for the next five installments? Uh, well, I think the consistent MO is that he's going to continue to brutally cut off the arms of his brothers and <laughs> take these guns. Uh, two, if he's been keeping all these guns from all the previous games, he would look like Cable from the X-Men. He would just have pouches upon pouches upon pouches on his back. <laughs> he doesn't. He's I slim think, and clean. I think we know that he doesn't keep the the old weapons. I he know. just picks up new he ones should. each game. He should. I think he should. But I get that you would start that character off as too much of an advantage. Um, but at this point, he would have 50 different guns that he, his arm could turn into. Mm-hmm. Um, there's what character arc is what I say to this. Yeah. It's basically robot beats robot game. But most video games in the 90s mm-hmm. and the 80s didn't have character arcs. So, you know, even modern video games don't really have character arcs unless they're very intense RPGs or, you know, stuff like that. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, it's it sounds like a video game. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's slide right into uh, the sixth plate in this baseball diamond, Mega Man 6. A.K.A. Rockman 6, the world's strongest, with two exclamation points. The uh, press start screen has a picture of Earth. Fun fact, this is the first Mega Man game to receive fan input on the design of the character from outside Japan. Uh, Capcom is really famous for listening to their fan base, uh, being willing to work with their fan base, but this was the first time, you know, because he Mega Man gets a slightly new design every game, just like every other yeah, but it's pop basically culture still character. The blue, like, blue suit, yeah, little red dots. Blaster arm. Yeah. Um, and this was the first time they opened it up uh, outside of Japan, which I think is cool. Other fun fact, this was the last game released on Nintendo's 8-bit console. Oh, it was the last one on the NES. Yes, this was the version released for Super NES and remains... Wait, 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 wait. You, so this game, which was Mega Man 6, yeah. was it released on SCN? You said it was the last one to be released on 8-bit. So oh, that that's what I said, yes. That means and the version be... was later released on NES. SNES. Okay, SNES. Yes. Okay. So yes. the up res it to 16, because the Super Nintendo yes. is 16. Yes. The NES is 8. Yes. All right, cool. Uh, and it does, this remains one of the most popular versions of the game amongst really? North American fans, the best-selling cool. one. Um, so the world finally gets itself together, and it builds the, ro- the Global Robot Alliance in order to keep Dr. Wily from ever attacking with robots again, because he's done it five times so Does this far. mean this alliance kills Mega Man? Oh, well, Jason, just strap yourself in. One year after this alliance is formed, the first annual robot tournament is formed because giant fighting robots are awesome. Uh, This is ostensibly to determine the world's strongest peacekeeping robots because all robots are now supposed to be used for peacekeeping. And it is hosted by the mysterious Mr. X and backed by the equally mysterious X Foundation. With me so far? I'm betting one of these are going to be Dr. Wily. Just saying. Uh, I think you might. Beyond to something. Mega Man is present, of course, to oversee the events and make sure that nothing bad happens. But he kind of fails because the eight strongest contestants go rogue. Jason, what do you think their names are? Um, their names are Snake Man. You're actually not that far off. Toast Man. Microwave Man. Chevy Man. <laughs> uh, pop 90s Music Man. Mouseketeer Man. <laughs> And whipped cream man. 
So the names are, in fact, Blizzard Man, Centaur Man. Centaur Man? What the hell does he throw? Minotaur? Uh, He throws horses at you. Uh, Flame Man. Okay. Uh, I would like to think he's the first homosexual character, but I don't think robots pro Cannon. Uh, (laughs) Night Man with a K. Knight Man. (laughs) Plant Man. Tomahawk Man. Wind Man and Yamato Man. What does Yamato Man do? Uh, Yamato is a Japanese demon mythological creature. But what does he throw at you? I don't know, Jason. I've never I need to know this, this stuff. Do some research here. Uh, why don't you do some research? No, it's not my lesson. <laughs> uh, Mr. X admits that he has been controlling Dr. Wily this whole time, oh, and it's God. not the other way around. And that's why Dr. Wily's been like real evil recently. With the help of Rush, the doggo, Mega Man yip, defeats. Yip, one, one, zero, zero. Yip, yip. People are getting so mad at you who code right now. I don't care. Uh, Mega Man defeats the evil robots and fights Mr. X at a fortress where he is revealed to have actually been Dr. Wily all along. Mega Man? No. Mr. X. So oh, Mr. X okay, was okay, like, okay. I'm Mr. X and I'm controlling Dr. Wiley. That's why you okay, think he's for a second evil. There, I and then he's were... like, psych, I'm actually Dr. Yeah, Wiley. Yeah, for a second there, I was like, I thought you were revealed that Mega Man was revealed to be Dr. Wiley all along. And I was like, that is like inception level video gaming right there. I think... <laughs> I like Mega Man. I think that's given the Mega Man franchise too much credit. <laughs> How do you think Mega Man sounds? Like, I think there's there's been a Mega Man cartoon. There have been several Mega Man cartoons. Is, wh- how do you hear Mega Man in your head? Like, is he up um, here? He's is very, he very high robotic? pitched. Is he down here? Hello? I imagine him speaking kind of like a Japanese little boy. So if you've ever watched any anime of like Pokemon or Digimon but in the original Japanese like that okay like very hype like I imagine Mega Man looks like a six year old boy yeah sure like very young to except me. he's a brutal robo murderer no alright cool uh, but they do actually capture Dr. Wily at the end of this one he's not pretend crushed under a building and he's sent to prison which is like wild so the Mega Man in universe justice system finally works Hooray! Now let's talk about Mega Man 7, and we're gonna have a really. <laughs> this is this definitely sounds like Super Nintendo music. This is Super Nintendo. I don't know. I didn't write it down for this one. Oh, good lord! I need these answers. AKA Rockman 7 Showdown of Destiny with an exclamation point. That's it. Short theme song. Uh, and was the first of the game of the game in this the first game in this franchise to be made in 16 bits. Then it is the SNES, uh, and it takes place seconds after the previous game ends. Uh, Doctor Wily had known that one day he would probably go to prison. So, like Moriarty and James Bond villains of many years past, he builds himself a little tiny robot army in a secret lab to come and get him. Jason, what are their names? Uh, at this point, I don't have any ideas. Just make, go. Make them up. Uh, You're an improviser. Man, 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 man. You said man, 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 and girl, man. No, we don't get ladies for a couple more games yet. Um, burst man, cloud man, which you guessed in jest earlier. What does burst man do? It sends out energy bursts. Oh, uh, that's lame. All right, come uh, on. Junk man. Does he throw junk at you? I think he throws um, like uh, uh, sprockets and ratchets. You and know what would be really and... badass, and I know they didn't do this, is that every time he threw junk, it was like, it, it, you heard, bum, 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 Oh, my God. <laughs> Who's that reference for? Uh, all of our listeners that were bored before <laughs> 1985. Uh, uh, and last, Freeze Man. Okay. Now, Not that m- many robots in this one. Well, we only met half of them so far. What does that mean? It means that we're going to be four more. There's always six to eight robots per game. New robots. How come you can't tell us about the rest of them? Because we haven't mapped them narratively yet. Oh, damn it. Um, I This is the point where I started to notice that Mega Man really just copies the same robot designs and gives them different names. <laughs> <laughs> and they will reprogram it. So whatever they... They're mostly just throwing stuff at you, to be sure. completely honest. But like Burst Man is just a redux of Fireman. Freeze Man is a redux of Iceman. Bobby Drake. Uh, I wish. <laughs> uh, they're programmed to come rescue their master if they don't hear from him in six months. So over the narrative course of the video game, six months pass. They are called upon. They go search for him and they save him. Mega Man is then called into action to stop their rampaging. I actually wrote stomp their rampaging, but that's not no, true. No, he blasts them. Uh, through the city. And then chops off their arm. Uh, and he brings Roel, his sister, and Otto along with him. Otto is a dumb-looking green robot who sometimes drives a car. 
Don't know who this is. Interesting. He's really dumb. All right, And cool. I don't like his design. I like the name of the name, though. Otto is a name. Is well, cool. it's Otto like an auto. Oh, I get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Does he turn into a car? He drives a car. That doesn't make sense. That's the same green that he is. Hmm. But we've talk- before we talk a little bit more about fighting robots, I want to remind you about our Kickstarter that also features flying robots. Cute robots. Now, one of the things that makes Science Comic Book so unique, which you can donate to at sciencecomicbook.com, is that you, the reader, can learn actual science facts that are told to you by our little tiny stat robot. Yes, and they don't commit murders like Mega Man. That's true. Uh, so go on over to sciencecomicbook.com. Consider picking up our 80-page original graphic novel. Check out our rewards. We have a lot that will facilitate and help other people become comic book Writers. Look, and we're telling you twice about this because we really like comic books and it's now time to make our own. That's our second comic book. And we like stories. So if you like our stories that we talk about here and you like our dumb jokes here, you're going to get plenty of them in science. So sciencecomicbook.com. Go pre-order the book. It's the only place you're going to be able to buy it. And thank you. And thank you for sharing. Now back to Mega Man. So... He's with Roll, and he's with Otto, Jason's new favorite character, because hopefully he's forgotten about Gamma by this point. No, I have not forgotten (laughs) about Gamma. But they're stopped by a new character named Bass, like a guitar. (sighs) Who's a black and gold robot with capabilities equal to Mega Man, and... He has a robo wolf that he travels with, whose name is Treble. I think I've Bass seen and Treble. I think I've seen the robo wolf. Uh, who's in pur- he's purple. Yeah, purple, purple wolf, robot, dog. More music jokes. I don't understand why a video game franchise that's so obsessed with music jokes has such cruddy music. I have to say, when they finally shut up and stop fighting, everyone learns that they're all trying to take down Doctor Wily, and they decide to team up and work together. Now, Jason, I want to ask you this. Is this an example of video games falling into the comic book trope of we have to fight before we can be friends? Uh, No, it's a little bit of a trope of comic books copying video games. You think? Yep. They existed in video games before? Think about it. Think about how many movies you watch nowadays that are all about like the mini battles Mm -hmm. and then you finally get the boss battle. Oh, interesting. Yep. It's because we now have a whole generation of creators that have grown up where video games have always been around. And we're an early form of storytelling. And they played lots and lots and lots of video games. So to them, story is beat this guy, beat this guy, beat beat this guy, guy, beat the big guy. Right, which uh, Mega Man helped pioneer. So thanks, Mega Man. So I actually think it's the opposite. Cool, I love that. Working together, they defeat uh, half of the new robot masters that we met, but then Dr. Wily reveals that he secretly has four more because there's always eight robots. Do you know what their names are? Uh, their names are Sink Man, Plunger Man, <laughs> uh, Toilet Man, and Kitty Litter Man. So their names are actually Spring Man, Jesus. Slash Man. Wait, wait, what is Slash? Did you write Slash Fiction? Uh, yeah, I'm going to say yes. Okay, cool. Uh, Shade Man. What, does he just throw shade at you? He's just really shade. He just like cuts you down He's with like, his. Your mom is so fat. <laughs> yeah. And Mega Man's like, oh, my robotic heart. Mm-hmm. He's like, jokes on you. I don't have a mom. Uh, hey, and, oh, now I am sad thinking about that. Mm-hmm. And Turbo Man. I, for a second there, I thought that name was going somewhere completely different and not savory, but thank God. Like Turd Man? <laughs> you didn't have to say it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a bad word. Uh, okay, let's never say that again. Base gets injured in the fight. He's uh, that new black and gold robot. So yeah. Mega Man uh, ships him off and sends him back home to Dr. Light for repairs like he does And this all is how he gets the wolf. The injured. He gets trouble. No, he's had trouble this whole time. No, no, but Base had trouble. So Mega Man now gets trouble with well, him. Y- yeah. There is a cover. Yes. I, I don't know yes, what this is from. Yes, you're right. But I have seen, uh, there is a picture of Mega Man with a giant robotic wolf. And so as soon as you said that, I was well, like, oh, that's Mega what Man's this is. Mega Man's dog, like, like, uh, uh. Robo? I can't remember the dumb dog. Rush, Rush kind of looks like a wolf. No, I know what Rush looks like. This okay. is different. This is a different. Okay. Uh, but when Mega Man returns to Light Labs, he discovers that Base freaked out and destroyed the lab and that he only worked with Mega Man to gain access to Dr. Light and get himself some sick upgrades. I wanted to get some sick upgrades, man. Uh, yeah, he's English. He's, he, it's because he's p- Base like Paul McCartney. Oh, uh-huh, that's cute. I love that. I like to call you Glabbit. <laughs> oh, my God. He really wants to prove that he is the strongest, most powerful robot in existence, and he knew that he needed the upgrade to be able to take Mega Man down. Mega Man chases him back to Wily's fortress, defeats Base and Treble at the same time, before taking on Dr. Wily himself and giving him six opportunities to change his ways. 
Jason, do any villains change their way if you offer them the chance six times? I mean, not robots because they deal in ones and zeros, dummy. Dr. Wily's a human. Uh, he's secretly a robot. Come on. Uh, you're right, though. He doesn't accept the opportunity to change. So Mega Man threatens him with his Mega Cannon. But Dr. Wily reminds him that because he's a robot, he's incapable of harming a human being. But Mega Man, in the Japanese version, doesn't, Blast doesn't him away. say anything. In the American version, he says that he is, quote, more than a robot. What does unquote. that mean, Mega Man? Well, Jason. Does Mega Man murder Dr. Wily? Uh, like all what the do other you robots? think that means? I think he murders him. Uh, you would be wrong. And he blasts him and obliterates his human. Uh, you're wrong. Base and Trouble show up, save Dr. Wily, taunt Mega Man as they run away, and Mega Man goes home. Uh, this is That was not satisfying. Well, that's the end of the video game, so I hope your music's ready, because we're going to talk about Mega Man Eight, do 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 do. We're buffering. We're buffering. Do 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 do. I don't know why it's buffering. Do do. It sounds like Super Smash Brothers. AKA Rockman H Metal Heroes. Fun fact, this game was directed by Hayato Kaji, who previously worked on the Mega Man series of games just as an artist. And he worked his way all the way up to director. I think that's really cool. We're Mega Man 8? Mega Man 8. This uh, game was on PlayStation 1 and uh, what a, a, a console that many people might remember, the Sega Saturn. I don't remember Which was the one. failed console after the Sega Genesis. Oh, there you go. Uh, this game was released on the 10th anniversary of Mega Man. And was the first of the franchise to feature full motion video and voice acting. It was designed in 32 bits, but was criticized for not pushing their graphics far enough for fans and reviewers because it's still basically a side scroller just with cutscenes. Two robots. Okay, so the, <laughs> the game opens with two robots fighting in space and then they fall to Earth. Meanwhile, on Earth, cut to uh, Mega Man and Rush the doggo, are fighting base when Roll, his sister, shows up and saves the day. Yay! Roll doesn't get to do enough cool things. Her little Mega Man-esque armor is super cute, and I love her. Dr. Light sends all of the good robots to a nearby island to investigate something wild, something that fell from the sky. What could it be? Venom. Oh my god, I wish. When they get there, they discover that Dr. Wily is flying around in a purple orb, living his best Dr. Robotnik fantasy. That's a sonic joke for those at home. Dr. Wily also has a bunch of new robot masters. Jason, what do you think their names might be? What? What? Whose names the, are? The new robots. The four new robots. they're not masters. They're, they're, call, they're always called robot masters. Um, I'm going to say Steak Man. These ones are especially Pancake dumb. Man. Bacon Man. And uh, Woman Man. Frost Man. Tengu Man. A Tengu was another Japanese demon. I'm done with these names. Clown Man. And Grenade Man. All right. Uh, they were a little different from the robot masters that Mega Man has fought before because they are powered by the same weird purple energy that Dr. Wily is using. Mega Man returns to the lab with one of the robots that fell from heaven, uh, the ones that were fighting in space at the beginning, and Dr. Light investigates the purple orbs only to discover that they are the uh, they are a power source capable of destroying the world. Uh, Rush attacks the lab. Mega Man has to fight him. Then Proto Man shows up because we haven't seen him in a while and takes Mega Man to Dr. Wily's new fortress known as Wily Tower. On the way, Mega Man is captured by a robot built by Dr. Wily known as Duo, who looks like a Transformer and wants to help him. He explains that the purple orbs are, quote, evil energy, unquote, and that it has formed a protective shield around Wily Tower that they will have to defeat to get in. Mega Man has to defeat four more robot masters named Astro Man, Sword Man, Search Man, and Aqua Man, uh, Arthur Curry shows up, Aqua Man. in order to collect their energy. He then uses all of the combined evil energy that he's collected to amp up his powers and to fight Dr. Wily. Sadly, harnessing the evil energy is simultaneously killing Mega Man because he's too pure for this world. <laughs> Luckily, Duo is able to scoop up Mega Man and utilize, I'm not kidding, the goodness and justice in his heart and save him while destroying all of the evil energy on Earth at the same time. He then leaves and uh, goes back to space. And Mega Man goes home. 
How crazy has the narrative become in the space of like two video games that there's evil energy and we're talking about the justice in your I mean, I'm basically giving up. <laughs> on Mega Man? On <laughs> just the stories, The narrative yes. structure? Yeah, there is no narrative structure. Besides um, him murdering his brothers and chopping off their arms. There, well, yeah. Um, so there is a game that happens here called Mega Man and Base. That's the next one on my music. Uh, that was only released on Game Boy. It was the only non-console game. It happens between Mega Man 8 and There's 9. There's actually more non-console games. I, I looked up in the big list. But, but this sure. is the main one. You're sticking to your main narrative, yes. Um, it's sometimes left out of canon because it's mostly just a battle between these characters. So we're going to gloss over it and go right to Mega Man 9. I got that music, too. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, this sounds like the video games of my childhood. Uh, A.K.A. Rockman 9, Revival of Ambition, with two what? exclamation points. That's what it's called. The, 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 I like This is my favorite one. The uh, music. Of the music or the game? The music. Uh, in this game, Dr. Light is coming under a lot of public scrutiny for how many of his androids have turned rogue and done awful things. Of course. Because it's like 50 by this point. More of his robots go on a rampage, and a public video plays where it appears that Dr. Light is declaring world domination. Dr. Wily can also be seen in the background, but he refuses to work with Dr. Light and asks for monetary donations so that he can build uh, more robot masters to defeat Dr. Light. He's crowdfunding his evil ways before crowdfunding was a thing. Uh, this game came out in 2008. And then Mega Man fights eight more robot masters. Jason, what do you think their names are? They're dumb. I, no, I don't care anymore. <laughs> Give me one guess. Uh, grass man. Concrete man. That's close. Splash woman. First female, only female, uh, barring the new game. Magma man. Hornet man. Jewel man. Tornado man. Plug man. And Galaxy Man. The names are so bad now. Yep, they're pretty terrible. Uh, I kind of love them. Mega Man discovers that all of these robot masters were uh, shortly due to be recycled in a video of Dr. Wily promising to help save them from destruction by reprogramming them. So when you get recycled, you basically get broken down for scrap, and robots are kind of afraid of that. Right when he is about to reveal this to the world, a flying saucer appears in the sky and steals all of the evidence of this, which is a memory chip that Mega Man had stolen from one of their brains. But Mega Man knows that Dr. Wily is responsible, so he goes to fight him anyway. When Dr. Wily begs for mercy, Mega Man reminds him of how many times he's begged for mercy in the past. Then Proto Man appears and warns Mega Man that it's a trap and that Dr. Light, who had been captured by Dr. Wily and fallen ill, was an imposter. In the end, they save Dr. Light. Dr. Wily escapes. The fortress crushes Mega Man and injures him, but Proto Man rescues him. Dr. Light rebuilds the eight robot masters, and they are given new functions and saved from recycling. All right, Jason, we're almost at the end. We're going to talk about Mega Man 10. Now, are we going to talk about Mega Man 10 or Mega Man X? Because they're two different games. Ah, uh, we're going to talk about Mega Man 10. Interesting. Okay, so... Uh because we're, we're, Mega Man 10 is on PlayStation 3. Well, my notes say Mega Man 10, a.k.a. Rockman 10, threat from outer space. Well, I'm just asking because, like, again, like, I I have always been told, and I, I don't know, is, like, Mega Man X was, like, one of the seminal games that's on Super Nintendo. So, like, I, yeah, and that's the next piece of music that I have is Mega Man X. Well, I went through uh, a list that was Mega Man 1, 2, not, 3, 4, I'm 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, I'm, I'm just, so I'm, it's, I'm doing I'm, 10. I'm, I'm just saying, I don't care. <laughs> uh, you're teaching the lesson. I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm just, you know, I know that that's a big game. So, I, 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 and I didn't know, again, X and 10, you know, no, which, is, I'm which, doing, which one was I'm which. I'm doing 10. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, don't Continue. Have, Tell don't me have about the 10. music for that? I don't. I have the, my, my music goes to X. Okay. Uh, AKA Rockman 10 Threat from Outer Space. Um, the Robo Enza illness infects a bunch of robots all over the world, causing them. Uh, to dangerously malfunction and try to take over. Uh, Roll, Mega Man's sister, is one of the characters infected. So sad. Dr. Wily comes to Mega Man and Dr. Light says that he's building a machine to manufacture medicine to cure the robots. So he's kind of doing a good thing, we think, maybe, per pretend. Mega Man goes to retrieve the machine and runs into Proto Man, his older brother. So they team up. Meanwhile, Dr. Wily has completed a prototype of the vaccine and tests it out on roll. He gives it to her. Mega Man runs into eight new robot masters that he has to fight. And I'm not kidding. Sheep Man. Bah. Commando Man. 
Uh, I'm the commando. Blade Man. Uh, Daywalker. Strike Man. Don't have a joke for that one. Solar Man. Don't have one for that one either. Chill Man. You're the chill. Good party. Nitro Man. Don't have one for that one. And Pump Man. You got to pump you up. Is that not the bottom of the They good robots here. Oh, boy. By the end of the fight, Mega Man himself has contracted Roboenza. It's very difficult. Bro, bro. It's Robo. It's supposed to be like influenza, but Roboenza. <laughs> okay, whatever. It's a dumb fake virus. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, Dr. Wiley takes this opportunity to appear on television and admit that he developed the illness and will administer the cure, but all the robots will have to come and work for him. It's revealed that Roll, his sister, didn't take her medicine, but saved it for Mega Man in case someone Robo more girls. important needed it because she's so good. Mega Man is cured, goes to Wily's fortress and takes him down. On his way there, he discovers that Proto Man has fallen ill, but Mega Man saves him with another dose of the cure. Working together, the heroes chase Dr. Wily into outer space, only to discover that he has fallen ill himself, so they bring him back to Earth and take him to the hospital from which he eventually escapes. But he does leave behind enough of a cure to save all the robots on Earth. Mega Man would then go on to join larger video game universes when he was introduced into Super Smash Bros. 4 for Nintendo 3DS and Wii U, which was announced. Which I don't know if that's if Super Smash Bros. is really a continuity story thing, but that's it's co- not. It's cool it's that not. he's in there. Um, I just kind of wanted to mention this before we stop talking about the video sure. games, uh, which happened in uh, 2014. He was introduced along with Pac-Man, Ryu, Cloud Strife, and, and uh, Bayonetta as downloadable content, but was later upgraded to a straight up playable character. And I think he's in the new Nintendo Switch Smash Brothers as well. He, I think he's going to be in all of them unless the contract changes. Sure. Well, because um, Nintendo owns Capcom now. Yes, they do. Yeah. Uh, he appears as a more buffed up version of the character than in his eponymous games because Mega Man's not a buff character. No, he's a little tiny boy. Um, and really quick, I do want to mention that Archie Comics publishes Mega Man comic books. Cool. Um, I read the first 25. They're adorable. They follow the basic plot of the video game. So you see Mega Man and you see Roll and you see Dr. Light and Wily making their announcement. You see Dr. Wily turn evil. You see him becoming Mega Man. You see him fighting bad guys. And then some of the other characters like um, Blue and Proto Man and Gamma and Duo and Ruff and Bass, they all show up and each arc, they're usually about four issues because this is an all ages comic. Sure. Um, they'll show up. Mega Man will learn how to work with them. They'll fight a big bad guy at the end. They're really, really fun. So if you like Mega Man or if you're looking for a, an all ages super Super adventure. I would really recommend checking them out. Fun fact: uh, Archie also published a great Sonic the Hedgehog adventure Which series. Which I believe is both of nope, them. It stopped oh, uh, it? because IDW <gasps> now has Sonic the Hedgehog. But oh, I didn't know that Sonic Adventures had like three hundred issues. It's great. Uh, Mega Man is like up to the fifties and sixties now. Mm-hmm. Like that comic's been going. By the way, since you've been talking, I did some research on Mega Man X ah. because that isn't the only other Mega Man game that I've ever played. Its plot line is this. Uh, Mega Man X is about a robot named X, who is an upgraded Mega Man model that is created by Dr. Thomas Light an unknown number of years after the entire Mega Man series. Uh, X, so it's, it's in continuity, but it's not on the same narrative. It's, 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 a it's big not. Future he's story. not actually Mega Man. He's oh. a different robot, but he looks like Mega Man, and he has he has the ability to make his own decisions. Oh, because it's a big thing in Mega Man and in the comics that they're not um, not self aware. Yeah, uh, yeah. He so they this, can't make their own. So this one, he has free will. Free will. Yeah, they don't have yep. free will. Uh, and basically, it talks about that Capcom released Mega Man X for the Super Nintendo to do to give a brand new image to the Mega Man game series because before they integrated it yes, into. So mm-hmm. X, he like has silver armor. Yeah. He looks like a like. Oh, he, I've seen that. He kind of looks like an anime again. But the reason I want to talk about this is like I I remember from back in the day like everybody talked about Mega Man X. Everybody was like, this game is amazing. Oh well, thank you so much for looking that up. Sorry. So so when you got no, the, don't say when, sorry. When you thank got, you. When you got the ten, my weird kid Nintendo brain thought that ten was always X. Yeah, they're not. I see why that's confusing. I, yeah, I wanted to really focus on what Capcom considers to be the narrative yeah, story I didn't, of Mega Man. I didn't realize Mega Man X wasn't actually about Mega Man. There you go. I think that's a great segue to talk about recommend reading is there recommended reading for this yes there is <laughs> okay well recommended reading is uh you go to our website geekishlesson.com slash recommended reading you find our choices for the books we have all 220 some episodes there you click on it you go to amazon you buy that book on amazon and a little bit comes back to the mind university it keeps our lights on keeps our robo dogs fed with robo puppy chow that's right so i'm going to recommend the first three volumes of the archie Mega Man series uh volume one is called let the games begin 
Volume two is called Time. That's my favorite one. Um, I love the cover on it. It's just a straight up uh, close up on Mega Man's face. And volume three is the return of Dr. Wily. You'll see a lot of the tropes explored that we saw here. You'll see a slightly different art style. And I think the dialogue is adorable. So if you like Mega Man and you like comics, I would highly recommend checking them out. They're very cheap because they're short and they're quick reads. So there you go. Yay. Jason, do you want to have a really quick discussion? Sure. What are we going to talk about? I want to know why do you think Mega Man has lasted or what traits does he share with characters like Sonic and Mario that are like legendary video game figures because really when you boil it down like we've talked about in this lesson you're playing the same game very ten simple times character doing very simple things is it does he just get by on the look no it's because you know what you're getting mm-hmm. because you know what you get when you play a Mega Man game you know it's this robot's gonna jump you got to kill the other robot, and then you're going to get a new robot gun. Mm -hmm. It's the same as Mario. With Mario, you know that you're going to jump, you're going to stomp on some turtles, you're going to throw Bowser in the lava. When you're playing with Sonic, you're going to run around some loops, you're going to get some coins, you might fly with tails. And it's the same thing of like why Law & Order has 20 seasons. It's because people want true escapism. They want the same thing over and over and over again. And I think that's why Mega Man has survived. Mm -hmm. It's not the design, because it's not particularly a great design. It's a good-looking design, but it's but it's not super amazing. Same with Mario, same with Sonic. But it's the idea of that... I think Sonic has a great design. I would fight you on Sonic. Sure, okay. Um, <laughs> but, you know, um, Mega Man is just a blue robot. Yeah. It's, that's that's it. Um, I think it's just... They, it's a simple game. And it's... you If you know what you're looking for, it's a fun game. So it's really whether you want... A Mega Man shaped hug, a Mario shaped hug, or a Sonic shaped hug. That's what I think so. I think I think that is exactly what it is. Oh, I love that. All right, let's do the teaching tweet. Teaching tweet is Professor Ashley is going to tell you everything you need to know about Mega Man, basically summarizing this lesson into 140 characters or less, or even more, because Twitter added more characters. And you can find this tweet at GHL Podcast on the Twitter. Mega Man, the little blue robo who could. He might fall for the same trick every time, but he's cute AF, and the Mega Cannon is iconic. Is it iconic? I think uh, his helmet is iconic. Uh, I think it's pretty iconic. Um, It's like his number one unique thing. The helmet's pretty unique. Okay, I've actually seen a full-size version of that helmet, and it looks pretty cool. You can buy it on like, some nerd website. You can, yeah. Uh, I bet my head would fit inside of them. Now, real quick, Mind University students, I just want to announce that after this episode, we will be taking the next two weeks off because we are going to be working on writing our science graphic novel and a couple of the projects and making sure that they are okay. So there won't be a podcast after this episode for two weeks. We're going to take a tiny little break, and then we'll be right back in the middle of October. So don't worry. We're not going to be gone for long. Let's do the honor roll. The honor roll, whereas if you, our last section, you roll over to iTunes or Apple Podcasts in the United States. I don't think you can do it in the foreign sides if you're listening outside the U.S. You leave us a five-star review. It doesn't matter what you write. You write anything, and we're going to read it in the podcast. This is from Wade I Wade Ill Son. Phenomenal podcasts. Now I enjoy comic books more than most. But Jason and Ashley make me love comic books even more. They give me history about characters that I thought I knew everything about. If you're not listening to them, you're definitely missing out. Oh, thank you. By the way, Jason's Bane impression is hilarious. Five star shows all the time. What was his name? Wade. Oh, Wade, thank you very much, Wade. The fire rises of my love for you. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Okay. By uh, the way... Did you know that Mega Man murdered all those robots? <laughs> Why you gotta do Mega Man? I admired him for that. <laughs> he was born in the darkness like I was. And he was born in light labs. He was, bo- uh, he was born in the dark corner of Mega Man lab- not like light, light yeah. labs. My favorite character was <laughs> Breakman. <laughs> did he break Mega Man? He did. You don't like the dog? What? Don't like the dog? No, the dog rises. <laughs> he does. If you play the if you play the video game, it, uh, the dog rises up into the air. And you use him to jump to new levels. Oh, imagine that! Yes. <laughs> Can I talk about the next one now? Continue. Z Seattle Bat says best comic book. Is he called the Bat? Is this the Bat? <laughs> I must break him. Okay. 
Well, him or her or they of indeterminate gender. Best comic book podcast out there. This podcast wins for me because of the combination of two very charismatic hosts. Oh, thank you. And a metric buttload of information presented in a personal, witty and organized fashion. As someone who understands the metric system, I appreciate the inclusion of that. I especially enjoy listening to related characters back to back and hearing how and why they interact, intersect in the stories and hearing a timeline of various characters. It's definitely helpful with all the DC relaunches to figure out what's going on. Oh, and the movie reviews are stellar. I consider myself an aficionado, but there are many references I missed that they illuminate. Also, check out their comic, Jupiter Jet. It is delightful with four exclamation points. I thank you for the comment and the compliment. But you shall be broken soon, Bat. Wait for my coming. I shall find you. Don't go breaking our listeners. I will break them. That's not and nice. I'm a fire That's all I have to say. All right. So Wade Ilson and Z Seattle Bat. Yes. Uh, welcome to the Teacher's welcome. Lounge. There's uh, bagels and cream cheese, or as Americans disgustingly call it, schmear. And the new superintendent has provided everyone with Bane masks. Oh. In the second closet to the right. What's the superintendent's name again? The superintendent's name, of course. Is Dr. Parnassus. Dr. Parnassus. That is correct. Okay. Is he related to Jackie Onassis? No. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do political jokes on this podcast. Is that political? Yes. Is she still alive? No. Okay. I was like, if she's. Okay. <laughs> That'd be a historical joke then. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Bane, Reagan, Jackie. Instead was... of the Bay of Pigs, it was called the Bay of Bears. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that joke was only that for That was some 1960s humor. <laughs> For all of our listeners born before 1970. Uh, I thought that was very funny. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Bane. Uh, I'm not leaving the podcast now. All right, well. I'm staying around. All, all right. Uh, if you want to be. Do you know the outro to the show, Ashley? <laughs> not even. I don't think you do. <laughs> if you want to be like none of the people who requested this, you could do that at geekhistorylesson.com. <laughs> Facebook.com slash Geek History Lesson. I am or staring on, her across the way, or across on Twitter, the microphone. A GHL podcast. Uh, you can Take follow... control of the podcast, <laughs> Ashley. You can follow me on Twitter at Ashley V. Robinson. You can follow Bane on Twitter at Jawin, J-A-W-I-I-N. My Twitter is actually Bane. <laughs> There's a lot of A's in at it. At Bane. Um, if you want to be amazing and support us, you can also head on over to patreon.com slash Jawin, where we yeah. do do the Geek History Lesson Extra podcast every week. And this week we're talking about video games that we love. And the pet, we did not have video games. I bet you did not in the we pit. We ate rats for fun. Uh, Bane, are you going to be here for hashtag stick around to make sure that everyone sticks through our plugs? Yes. Now, do you think... Bane, are you familiar with Mega Man? We are enemies. Okay. <laughs> How did you first meet? Mega Man? Yeah. What's I your hunted What's him your... across the divide, taking close measurement of every one of his abilities. So, you're a DC character. He's a Capcom character. I do not understand these names you say. Do you think that Mega Man is better in his own stories, or do you think he works cool uh, as a crossover character? I think Mega Man works best when he has a trophy on my wall. When he's broken? When he is broken. Uh, well, you know, Bane, I don't know if we have anything more to say on Mega Man than that. Do you think you are in control now? No. That is correct. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for listening to GHL Podcast. Uh, follow podcast at GHL Podcast. Please follow us on Twitter. Don't tweet us ever. I've been Ashley Victoria Robinson and Professor Bain. I am Bain. Why don't you dismiss the class? The podcast rises and it ends. <laughs> how do, how do we, I, I, do, I don't podcast. How do we stop it? <laughs> However you want. No, I mean, like, it has to be a button or something like that. Oh, yeah. Yes. Do I press the button? Yes. With your, Is that how I do With this? your mask, yeah. I press... Oh. There's some sub only work going on. Is that how, how does this work? Tell me or I break you. Uh, you gotta press the button. Where's the button? I don't actually know. I can't see it. I'm, uh...
I don't know if you've read a comic book about Bane, but I, I am a wrestler, not a technician. That's true. This You're, is going to be a long interview. Are you smart or are you dumb? I am very smart. Okay, well then surely you could figure out how to push a button. All right. I also don't have a good stinger for this one. <laughs> Me either. All right. Uh, ta-ta.